All aboard. Bring it, you board games. Tonight, I'm all aboard. The sinister forces of the evil sorcerer Zargon are amassing, determined to lay waste to the world and rid it of all that is good. Only four valiant heroes stand in his way, and they must descend into a treacherous world of the unknown and do battle with these dark forces in order to restore honor to the realm. Hi guys, my name is Gly. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles, so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there, and if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with a time code and we'll add them to the subtitles. So, finally, after 30 years, Hero Quest has been re-released, and to celebrate, we're going to do a full campaign of it here on All Aboard. We're planning on doing all 14 quests along with our regular content, so keep an eye out for that and please hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our content when it comes out. For this campaign, we will be using the companion app which will play as Zargon and Pat and I are going to be the four heroes. I am going to be using the elf and the dwarf. And I'm going to be the barbarian and the wizard. So my elf's name is Aerith and he has a weapon of short sword. His attack dice is two as well as his defend dice. He starts with six body points and four for mind. As for the dwarf, I named him Osset and he also have a weapon of short sword and his attack and defend dice is two. He has seven for body starting points and three for the mind. Okay, and my barbarian's name is Atul, and he has a broadsword which gives him three attack dice, and he has two defend dice, and he starts off with eight body points and two mind. And then my wizard is Yorick, and Yorick has a dagger, so that only gives him one attack dice, and he has two defend dice, has body points of four and six mind points. So that just leaves us to choose our spells. So the way that works is the wizard will choose one spell class, then the elf will choose one spell class and the wizard takes the other two. So Yorick is going to start off by taking the fire spells. And Aerith is going to take the earth spells. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good choice for the elf. Okay, and the water spells and the air spells then will also go to the wizard. So each class of spell has three spells and each one can only be used once. So after that they'll be discarded and can't be used again until the next quest. Okay, and so on your turn you can either move and take an action or take an action and then move. So to move you just throw a number of dice that your character allows you to throw and all of the base characters have two dice. So we have two six-sided dice and we'll just roll those and move that number of spaces. Now you can't move then take an action and continue your movement but you do not have to use the full number on your dice for movement. And also you can't move diagonally and you can't move through monsters. You can move through other heroes but you can't finish your turn on another hero's space. And as for the actions, alright so here's the reference card. First you can attack an adjacent monster. So this is where these white dice are useful. So the skull sign is a hit, the white shield is your defense as a hero, and then the black shield is the defense of the monsters. That's right. Okay, so that's the first one you can do. Second is you can cast a spell on a hero, including themselves or a monster they can see. So as you can see, we have the spells, both the that's elf okay. and the wizard. Yep. And the third is search for treasure in the room they are in. So we have a treasure deck here. So if we do that action, then we can uh, draw one card from this deck. That's right. Yeah. And it might not always be treasure, right? It yes. could be a wandering <laughs> monster as well. So. so it depends on what you can draw on the deck. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So the fourth one is search for secret doors in the room or corridor they are in and five search for traps and six is disarm a trap on the square they are on. So I think you need a disarm kit except for the dwarf. That's right. Yes. Yeah, a toolkit is needed for any of the other characters, mm -hmm. right? But we'll explain all of these things as we come to them throughout the game. We're just going to start playing now yes. and 
then as things come up you'll see how it all works. Okay and today our party is called the Order of the Grey Shield. The fire burns warmly but casts little light in the mentor's study. The flickering shadows only hint at the vast number of books and scrolls that fill the many shelves. Slowly, Mentor walks over to the fire. Well, my friends, your training is complete. You are not yet true heroes. You have yet to prove yourselves. But first, let me tell you of Zargon. Many centuries ago, Zargon was my apprentice. The young sorcerer worked hard and learned quickly, but impatience devoured Zargon, who wanted to learn more powerful magic. I spoke of the dangers and cautioned patience, for in time my apprentice would become a great sorcerer. But Zargon could not wait, breaking into my study each night to read my spell books. The secrets held within them were great indeed. Upon learning these secrets, Zargon fled. When I caught up with Zargon, I found my former apprentice greatly changed, having pledged allegiance to the great powers of dread. Fool! Zargon saw magic only as a shortcut to power and paid no heed to the terrible price that would have to be paid. I tried to reason with Zargon, but to no avail. The evil sorcerer laughed in my face, and then unleashed a terrible spell that I was hard-pressed to counter. For many days we battled, but Zargon had allies stronger than I, and I could not defeat them. In the end, as we both weakened, Zargon fled and sought refuge in the northern dread wastes. There the evil sorcerer licked battle wounds and honed skills, conjuring ancient powers with which to overthrow the realm. I must observe and measure the strength of Zargon's magic. The powers the evil sorcerer has called upon will destroy us all if I relax from this vigil. Zargon's legions threatened us once before. Then it was Rogar who aided me and defeated them. Now they are on the march again. Already they have assailed the borderlands. The realm must again look for heroes, and to this end, I have trained you. Each of you must complete fourteen quests. If you do this, you will be acclaimed as champions of the realm and dubbed Sovereign Knights. Only then will you be on the road to becoming true heroes. I shall speak with you again on your return, if you return. Oh, we want to be able to come yes, back from yeah. this one. <laughs> right, okay. Scary. If you return. All right, and then our first quest is the trial. You have learned well, my friends. Now has come the time of your first trial. You must first enter the catacombs that contain Felmarg's tomb. You must seek out and destroy Varag, a foul gargoyle that hides in the catacombs. This quest is not easy, and you must work together in order to survive. This is your first step on the road to becoming true heroes. Tread carefully, my friends. Okay, so we have to work together to, <laughs> to defeat this work. guy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so our first mission then is to defeat Verag. Seek out and destroy Verag, a foul gargoyle that hides in the catacombs. And there are no secret doors or traps in this first quest. Oh, that's good to know because yeah. you don't just want to walk into a trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, okay, so that just means that basically they are probably going to be teaching us, you know, how to fight monsters and how to move around and reveal rooms yes. and then later I think they'll slowly introduce traps but we can still search for treasure in any of the rooms right yes okay okay so the first room has been revealed and so we haven't played this game before either so we don't know where anything is we want to be surprised just like you and so there is a possibility that we might make a mistake or two if we do please please let us know in the description okay so after defeating Verag, all heroes must return to the stairway to finish this quest. 
Okay, so a tool the barbarian will start, and the first thing I'm going to do is search for treasure. All right, so here's your treasure a tool, and hope it's gold. <laughs> I hope so. So this isn't all gold. It could be a hazard, or it could be a wandering monster, or it might be a potion of some sort. And just about half of the cards in the deck are negative effects. So we get, oh, nice. Okay, a potion, potion. of healing. In a bundle of rags, you find a small bottle of bluish liquid. You can drink this healing potion at any time, restoring the number of body points equal to a roll of one red die. You cannot, however, exceed your starting number of body points. This may only be used once. Do not oh. return this card to the deck. Okay. Well, He'll at least you've got a healing potion. Yeah. yeah. He will need that. I think he will. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very useful to have. Okay, and then next I'm going to move. So... I can roll the dice for that. Nine. Nine. Okay. Okay, and we're using an app to control the scenario, but just for the sake of uh, the game looking better, we're not actually going to show the app during this game. But that's what's going to control all of the monsters and do all the reveals of all of the rooms and any traps that come out. So, a tool moves one, two, three and I am going to open the door. Okay, so we have a blocked corridor down here and then four. Okay, and I think I'll continue down towards this door, right? Yeah, so. I think that, that we should split, like I'll go over this side to explore the board and you can go over that side to explore the board. Right. And then if, if, if danger is in there later, we can meet somewhere here. It's dangerous to get too far away from each other all the same, but uh, I'll send the, the wizard across with the barbarian yes. here. So mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I'll open that door. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a couple of orcs here in front of us. You don't want to go in yet there. <laughs> no, no. I think I'll stay there actually just so that they can't both attack at once. Mm hmm yeah, th I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because I don't have any ranged attacks and I can't reach them if I go in. In that case, that's the end of a tool's move. Okay, so it's Aerith, and I'm going to do the same action. So I'm going to search for treasure since oh. I can't do anything just yet. Okay. And hopefully these are not monsters. So Aerith, draw... Oh, potion of healing. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, this is good. So Excellent. the same as yours, right? Yeah. In a bundle of rags, you find a small bottle of bluish liquid. You can drink this healing potion at any time, restoring the number of body points equal to a roll of one red die. You cannot, however, exceed your starting number of body points. Okay. So we do not return this onto the deck. All right. Okay, so Aerith is going to move. Oh, four. Four? <laughs> Not going to go very far, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so four. Okay, so Aerith is now one, two, three, four. Okay, and next is Osid. Osid is going to search for treasures, treasure as well. <laughs> okay. As, as his action. Yeah. And no monster, please. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, gold. Wow, okay. Oh, that's cool. He's a dwarf, so he <laughs> yeah. finds gold. You find a loose stone and tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Peering inside, you find 25 gold coins. Wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Record the money on your character sheet. So, Osid has 25 gold coins. And he is going to move. Okay. Okay, so he has smaller feet than the elf. I hope we can do better. Wow, eight. Okay. Eight. Right, so Osid is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, he'll be guarding that corner. All right, so Yorick is also going to search for treasure. And he is good. going to get a gem. Really? Wow, no monster so far, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, don't say that. Yes, they're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're bound to come out. So, tucked into the toe of an old boot, you find a small gem worth 35 gold coins. Wow. 
and so that card won't go back into the deck so the monsters and hazards actually go back into the deck so the more you search for treasure the more likely you are to come across the nasty yeah. stuff right okay and Yorick is going to make his move so seven okay so better than the elf yeah <laughs> so he's going to come over here one two three four five six seven okay so now it's zargon's turn so his first action is he's going to move this orc one two three and he's going to attack okay i'll be zargon this time <laughs> okay so we'll be using the dice to throw zargon instead of the app just to make the feel more board game. <laughs> that's right yeah yeah <laughs> more board game more game more board game <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> so even a word okay so the orc attacks with three dice Three. Wow. Oh no, three, three skulls. Wow. Yeah, so the barbarian defend. gets to defend with two, so I need <laughs> white shields here. And I got Nothing. none. Wow, so he takes three hits. So he's down to five now. It's good that you get a healing potion. Yeah, he's going to need it, right? Yeah. Okay, and so the next orc is going to move now. Okay, and the next orc just moves down here and he can't reach in to attack. Good. Okay, so it's back to the hero's turn. Yeah. So Atul isn't happy about that and he's going to swing his broadsword right back at that, <laughs> at that orc. Yeah, he'll be getting a good one. And gets three dice. Just one hit. Okay. Oh, really? They defend by two. Yeah, so no black shields. Okay, so he takes a hit. So the orcs only have one hit point or one body point, so he is now dead. Ah, good, good. Good one at all. Yeah, and he can still move. Five. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to go into the room. So one, two, three, four. But I'm not going uh, okay. to open that door yet because <laughs> I don't know what's behind it. And I know I'm going to be attacked by an orc fairly soon. <laughs> Yeah, don't open that. Okay, so Aerith. Aerith is going to move. Okay. Yeah, I hope that Aerith can move faster. Okay, six. Six. Okay, so Aerith is going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's really nothing I can do. I'll forfeit my action there. Okay. Yeah, and you can't search for treasure if you're not in a room, right? Yes. And there's no traps in this quest, so <laughs> there's, it's not worth doing, right? And Osid is going to move as well. Six as well. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. He didn't he reach the door, didn't right? He didn't reach the door. He's holding 25 gold, so it's pretty much <laughs> slow. <laughs> All right, and now it is back to Yorick. So Yorick is going to try to come up and help a tool here. 11, oh good, oh, okay, that's what he needed. So he'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's just going to stand in behind him here. Now I wonder, is it worth casting a spell at this time? It's only one orc, and I feel as if I should be keeping it for the stronger, the stronger guys, one. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's not going to cast a spell, but he's ready to heal just in case uh, a there's tool. a problem with yeah. the tool. Yeah, a tool can anyway use his potion, even if he goes down to zero points. You can yeah. use it straight away. So, okay. So it's Zargon's turn, and this orc is going to move up here and attack a tool. Okay. Okay, I think I'll do his roll this time. <laughs> he got too many attacks on me the last time. But I don't trust your rolling. <laughs> <laughs> your own skill, sir. Oh, nice. <laughs> he got none. Okay. Oh, good. So I don't even it. need to defend that one. Okay. I think you should do the rolling for the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> if he keeps that up, he will. And that's the end of Zargon's turn, is it? Yes, There's that's no the other end. monsters out there. Okay, excellent. Okay, so it's our turn. Okay, so Atul is going to attack that that orc again, and he gets three. So come on, just uh, two skulls are doing this. One skull. One okay, skull, and, and he's going to defend himself. 
And he is dead. dead. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So, the orc has been defeated. You're ready to open the door now. All right. And now I am going to open this door. Oh, wow. In. Okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's an abomination here. And so, well, let me see what my... Move is... Can I attack from here? But if you move in and go close to the abomination, you can attack him and then move Yorick later behind you. That's true. And maybe Yorick can even cast a spell on him yeah. this round because he's within line of sight. Yes. Okay, so let's see what I get. I only need two, so I'll definitely be able to reach him <laughs> if I roll the correct dice. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, no point in wasting pips on a dice. All right, so he's just going to move there. And it's Aerith's turn, and Aerith is going to move. Oh, seven. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to open the door. Okay, so... Oh, goblin mm. and an orc. Okay, so I'm gonna... So seven, so six, seven. I'll be here. And my action is I'm going to attack the goblin. And hopefully I have okay. another one. Oh, two, two hits. Okay, that'll definitely get rid of him because the goblin only has one defend die. Okay, defend. And he misses. So Good. the goblin has been defeated. And it's Osset. So Osset's gonna move first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, eight. eight. Okay, so one, two, three, three. Okay. Yeah, because I can't I can't pass him. So three. Yeah. And That's my fine. action is I'm going to attack him. Alright. Mm -hmm. So Osset. Two attack dice, is it? Yes, I have both of them have two attack dice. Aerith and Osset. Oh, no hits. None. All wow. right. And okay. now we're back to, to Yorick. Okay, so we're in line of sight here because you draw a line from the center of his square to the center of his. So that looks line of sight to me. You can see through the door. So Yorick is going to cast one of his spells. Yeah, because Abomination is very strong. Yeah. Two, we need to take two hit points on him, right? So, this inflicts one, oh, this one inflicts two body points of damage. And this inflicts one. So, okay, so we're going to fire a ball of flame at him. What's the sound of the flame? This spell may be cast on any one monster, enveloping it in a ball of flame. It inflicts two body points of damage. The monster then rolls two red dice, for each five or six roll, the damage is reduced by one point. Okay, so he's hit for two body points of damage, but he has to roll five or sixes to defend himself. Oh, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we get none. Nice. Yes. Okay, so he takes two hits and that kills the abomination. Okay, so the abomination is now gone. Oh. Nice. And good now, round, no? Yeah. And now Yorick still has some movement, so let's see where he is going to go. Seven. Yeah, moving there later and get some treasure. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually could even stay in that room. Well, maybe he can't attack anymore, and the goblin is hopefully going to attack the barbarian. So I will go... Go beside the barbarian? Yeah, one, two... Is that as far as you should go? No, go behind, just to make sure that you're not being attacked by the goblin. Well, the goblin can walk around him. Three, four, because the goblin has ten movement. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll just leave him there for now. Okay, so okay. now it's Zargon's, Zargon's turn. turn. Okay. Okay, so the orc is going to attack Osir. Oh, right, mm -hmm. okay. With can three dice. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, okay. Better at falling. Oh, for the best here. One hit. One hit. So roll your defense dice. Uh, so Osset can defend by two. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes, he defended himself. Ah, good. Okay, excellent. And now the goblin, I'm sure, is going to attack. 
Okay, and he's just going to attack the barbarian here. So goblin, how many attack? The goblin attacks with two. So the goblin attacks with two. One hit, and let's see if the barbarian can defend against that with two. Nice. Ah, nice. oh, okay. good. Excellent. Wow. That made up for his earlier <laughs> earlier hit. <laughs> Okay, so now that's the end of Zardon's uh, turn. Okay, so a tool is going to attack that little goblin and hopefully rid us of him. And he gets one hit, so the goblin can only defend with one, so hopefully not a black shield here. Nice, okay, so the goblin has been defeated. And Ooh. then we will move, yes, and we'll continue exploring this fast catacombs <laughs> so six okay so one two and let's open the door there three and i'm going to continue on then four five and let's see if there's anything shows up here so there's a door there oh okay okay we'll explore that so mm -hmm. so that's six right yes okay, okay. and it is back to Aerith. Aerith. So Aerith is going to move first. Uh, let's deal with this orb. Six. Six. So I'll move here for one. Yep. And I'm going to attack him. And he's going to attack the orc. One hit. One hit. Okay. And the orc defends with two. So. Okay, oh, nice. Yes. He is done. Okay, and he has been defeated. defeated. And for Osid is, I think, before I move out of this room, I'm going to search for treasure. Okay. And hopefully it's gold. All right. <laughs> search for treasure. Oh, gem! Wow! Tuck into the toe of an old boot, you find a small gem worth 35 gold coins. Very nice. Wow, so 35 plus 25 for Osset. Now I have 60 gold. Be able to buy some weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Saving up for them, all right. Yeah. And then he is going to move out. So. Okay, so three. So oh. like gold, as you say, is weighing him down, right? Yeah, that gold is very heavy. One, two, three. Three. All right, and now it's yeah. back to Yorick. So Yorick is. I wonder if we can find some weapons on that weapons yeah. rack. So I I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to do a search for treasure there. Okay, so the weapons on this weapons rack are chipped, rusted, and broken. There is nothing here that the heroes would want. Okay, so I guess I use a treasure card. Oh, oh not feeling confident this time. Jewels! Wow! You find a small wooden box. It is simple looking and very old. Within you discover that it is lined with velvet and contains very small jewels worth 50 gold coins. Wow, okay. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, he's got to save up for his staff. So he's now got 85 gold. And four. I was hoping to get a bit more than that so that he could back up a tool there. So anyhow... One, two, three, and he is just outside the room there now. So there's no monsters, so it's the hero's turn again. Okay. So back to our barbarian here. And so he's going to move and have a look inside this room here. Eight. Eight. Oh. All right. So... One, two, three, and we'll open that door. Oh wow. <laughs> two wow. two dread warriors and and a treasure chest in there as well. Wow, okay, so how much Should you should you not come in and at least use your action to attack one of them and then Yorick later can cast a spell. Yeah, yeah. I think because so. If you don't go in then you won't be able to do your action. Yeah, and I have one healing potion left. Although yeah. that's very dangerous because they attack with four dice. Four dice. Yeah, so they could take a maximum of eight hits between them from me if I can't defend. So I think I should stay beside the door and then use York to come down 
and I don't want to get attacked by both of them. I can take from one mm -hmm. and then bring Yorick down and see if he can do a spell. Okay. So now it's Aerith. So Aerith's going to move. Five. Five. So Aerith is very slow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. And then Osset is going to move as well. Ah, Aerith should have should have searched for treasure there but he's out already so. all right so we're going to deal with the monster and area i also has wow four one two three four okay so we're going to open this door okay so there's an orc and a goblin here oh okay how much movement have you left i have no movement left oh, because so you i can't... only get five uh, oh, four so... yeah Okay, so, so... I'll just have to wait for them to come out. Okay. All right, and it's back to Yorick. So yeah. Yorick better get a good roll on his movement here because he needs to be able to reach that guy before he comes in and attacks. Six. Oh, six, he can, okay. do, he can do that. Six is what he needs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and he has line of sight now on him, so... What spell can we cast? He has three body points. So my temptation is to put him to sleep. But even if I do put him to sleep, one of these guys is going to come up and block the door. So maybe I should just attack him with like a... I can, I can hit him for yeah. one. Yeah, maybe attack him with my fire of wrath. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to do that. So... Yorick is going to cast the Fire of okay. Wrath. And now he has three mind points. Okay, so the monster needs to roll a five or a six. Okay, and no five or six. Yes, Two, excellent. Cool. Okay, so he takes one body point of damage. So you now have only two left. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now we go to Zargon's. Okay, and it's Zargon's turn, yeah. So I think that we're in some serious trouble over here. <laughs> oh, okay, so this guy is gonna come here right at the door. Yeah, and no doubt attack. Attack you. Attack a tool. All right, and now he's going to attack with four. So let's hope for no skulls. Two, two hits. Okay. You have to defend yourself. Yeah, and at the moment I'm down to five, so let's hope that I can get a couple of. You have the healing potion. I do have that, yeah. Okay, one. so I take one hit. Not bad. It could have been worse, yeah, yeah. considering. Mm. But there's a there's a treasure box there, so. Yeah, I'll be it's definitely worth, yeah. going in looking for that. Yeah. Okay. okay and you're not gonna move right you'll stay there uh yeah well we'll see what they they do now so, so he's moving up he's there he's gonna move here okay and that puts him out of line of sight anyway oh so the the orc is gonna come here and he's going to, to attack. attack osid yep Okay, so can you do the attack? <laughs> yeah, oh, myself? I hope that yeah. I don't get any skulls here. Wow, he hits for two skulls. Two skulls? So you have two to defend. I have two to defend. Okay, oh, so you one. take one hit. You take one hit. Okay, so also it is now down to six. Okay. And the goblin is just going to move just down behind move here. him. Mm hmm. Now back to Hero's face. Okay, so Atul is standing there and he is looking to smash this dread warrior in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the other ones it's easier to kill. Oh, you know? we'll, we'll, take, we'll take either of them. Come on, two hits. Two hits. Okay, and he has how much defense? He has four defense. Oh. Okay, so do you want me to roll the defense, or you're a be you're a better roller? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go for it now, and we'll see how it goes. So nothing, nothing. excellent. So he yeah. takes two hits. Oh, cool. So he just has one body point left, 
And now he still has line of sight for a spell. Mm. So don't move then. Yeah, because I think I'll just stay there because that stops the two of them from coming out at the same time. Okay, so now it's Aerith. Yeah. And Aerith is going to move. Oh, three. three. Aerith wow. is really... I'm just going to go one, two, three. Yeah, yeah he couldn't have there. really done anything anyway. He can't yeah. get in through the, into the room through there, so... And Osset, Osset is going to attack this orc. Oh, really? unlucky. unlucky. Okay, so... So now Osset is going to move. I might as well use my movement, no? So, right. So um, I also wanted to come in and... Yeah, door. they're so blocking I'll, the door, so you won't be able to. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just stay there. You could, I tell you what might be good. Maybe if you moved him one space over, because that way, whichever uh, on the next turn they're going to attack him anyway. But if he can just come out one space, at least on the next turn, both of your guys will be able to attack him. So you have see, to do I a see. movement. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a movement. Okay, eight. Eight. So I'll come here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now back to Yorick. Okay, so I have a sleep, a veil of mist that allows him to move through the other guy. I have courage that gives him two extra combat dice, but they only have like one and yeah, two, one and two yeah. left. So it might you not might be worth need it. it for future. He has a healing spell that will heal four. I could heal. Maybe it, it might be hit, worth healing, actually, healing because he's yeah. going to be attacked soon, what anyway. What is it, Tempest? One of the no Maybe that's oh, the one. yeah. The monster the then misses. The misses his next turn, oh, so yeah. he won't be able to do anything. Yeah. Okay, so... Yorick is going to cast Tempest. This spell creates a small whirlwind that envelops one monster of your choice. That monster then misses its next turn. So let's cast that on him. Okay. So he'll miss his turn next time. Yes. Okay, so that's the end of the hero's turn. Okay. Now go to Zargon's. All so right. the and orc, as expected, the as orc is expected, coming out. Yeah. It's gonna come out. And he is going to attack. And he is going to attack uh, Osid. Osid. Okay. Yeah, can you do the attack? Okay. So I'm looking for zero skulls here, right? Yes. Three. Was a three dice. Yes. Three. Okay, one. One, one okay. hit. I have to defend myself. Osid. Come on, Osid. Nice. Come on, good. Okay, so he doesn't take damage there. And the okay, goblin is, and the going, goblin to follow is going to follow. Okay, so he's under a spell, so back to Hero's turn. Yeah, so he is back now. He's going to be able to attack us again. So let let me attack him here first of all and see if we can do him some damage he only needs one two he only needs one more hit yeah. right so two skulls right let me defend him okay and he defends with four so no black shields please no black shields no black shields <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. okay so that kills him i believe yeah because that's two right all right, so he is out of the game and he falls over. <laughs> okay, good to see that one dread warrior out of there anyway. Yeah. Do you want to to move out of there so I, that Yori can have line of sight? I'm just wondering what we're going to face when we find uh, Verag. Verag. Yeah. Oh, Verag will be very, very difficult. Okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering, should I save my spells or maybe now is a good time to cast the heal on a tool because it takes an action. So yeah. it might be something that we'd have to do later. He, yeah. he He's never going to get more than four anyway. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Aerith is going to attack this uh, orc. Okay. Oh, really? And he misses. Okay. Misses. And... For Osset, he Yeah, there's is no point in yeah, moving, right? There's no point of moving, so... Yeah, because mm -hmm. if I move, it's just they're just going to come out. They'll come out, out so. yeah. You're better off attacking him from both sides. Attack him. 
Two. two. Okay, nice. And so he defends with two. Okay. So no black dice, please. There you go. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so he has been defeated. And uh, we'll wait for the goblin to come out and do the same thing because because Aerith won't be able to do anything anyway. Unless I yeah. open this door. I. So yeah, there's no there's no point in moving. Yeah, we can yeah. just leave him there, and you can just hack at him from yeah. both sides. I think that's that was actually quite a good <laughs> strategy, right? Yeah. So now it's Yorick's turn. Okay, so Yorick is going to cast his water spell, his water uh, of healing, and so this spell may be cast on any one hero, including yourself. Contact with this revitalizing water restores up to four last body points, but does not give a hero more than their starting number. Okay, and that just brings a tool back up to eight. So he had lost oh, exactly four, four, so that was just right for him, right? Yes. Now at least he's fully energized now. That's right. To face this to face this other monster. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll now have Zargon's turn. Okay, so I think there's going to be a very not happy dread warrior here. There is indeed. He moves in here and he is I going to attack. So let me do the attack and you do, you defend. Hopefully there's no skulls here. Okay, two, two. skulls. And so I can defend. defend with two. All right. At least not four. Okay, one. one. Okay, I can take that. Mm -hmm. So back down to seven. And okay. as expected, the and goblin's the coming goblin's out. The goblin's going to come out. He's going to attack Osid. All right. Do you want me to roll? Yes. So he attacks with two, two dice. One hit. And I will defend with two. Okay. Oh, oh so you take one. I take one. So Osid is now down to five. And it's back to our turn? Yeah, hero's turn. Okay, so Atul is looking at this <laughs> dread warrior i hope you can finish him off murder in his eyes <laughs> me too one hit one okay hit. so that's not that's not the best result and they've got four defense so do you want to roll yeah. defense no blacks please excellent okay so he okay. takes another hit so he has one body point left you're not gonna move up, move out of there, right? He'll just stay there. Yeah, I don't see yeah. any point in him moving just yet. So, for Aerith is going to attack the goblin. Oh, we need some skulls. Huh? No, Aerith, Aerith is, is really yeah. good bad luck, right? He needs some more training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's not gonna move out, and Atul is going to try his luck. Uh, sorry, Atul Osid is going to try his luck. Okay. And one. one. Okay, so the goblin will defend with one and he gets nothing. Oh, yes. Okay, so that'll take him out. Okay. And so Osid can roll for some movement then. And then Osid is going to start moving. Seven. Okay. So he's going to start one. Might as well go in there now, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Six. And I'm going to. I have a uh, a healing spell, okay. so you can just come in. So I'm going to open this door. Okay. Wow, there are skeletons now. All mm -hmm. right. Okay, so you have one movement left if you want it. Yeah, I've got one move, but I'll stay there to wait for this guys, or else I'll be attacked by both of them. Yeah. Okay. Right, and so it's Yorick. Yorick's turn. I. Th I think Atul is going to be able to do the rest of that down there himself. Yeah. I don't think he needs moral support. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to waste the spell, so... Might start to explore here. Yeah, we, we probably should start looking at this side of the board, so... Okay. Okay, eight. So... Okay, so I'm going to come up this way. So one, two, three, four, five... Okay, six. And there's a block there. Okay, so seven, eight. Okay. 
Okay, and should I open this door? I'm kind of stuck there on my own if there's anything in behind it, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to open it now. I think that uh, I could get attacked on <laughs> Zargon's oh, turn, Zargon. which is just now, yeah. Okay, so Zargon's turn. Okay, so the warrior will attack you. Okay, and he's got four dice. Hopefully no skulls. Oh, two. two. Okay, so I need to roll a couple of shields, right? One. One shield. Two. Okay, just one hit. One hit. Mm -hmm. So he's back down to six. Okay. Okay, and next. Okay, so th this skeleton is going to attack uh Osid. Okay, and the skeleton has two attack dice and two defend dice. This, can you do the attack? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Get a so. Oh, he misses. Oh, nice. Okay, Good. excellent. And the other skeleton will stay here. Okay, so back to... Back to the hero's the face. hero face, yeah. All right, so let's see if... If a uh, tool can take care of this dread warrior. Oh, two, two hits. Okay, so he only needs one, right? Yeah. So how many how many defense? Four defense, right? He only needs one, yeah. So four defense. Do you want to defend for Okay? For him? Oh. Okay, no black shields. No black shield, please. Nice. No black shield. Okay, yeah. excellent. So that takes him out of there. So that's two. So he's dead. Wow. Okay. So uh, you should go get the treasure. I, that's yeah, yeah. That's exactly where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope there's not. Oh, there's no traps in this round yeah. actually. So uh, the treasure chest won't be trapped. So let me just roll nine. nine. Okay. Well, he is just going to stand inside the room. I don't actually have to go far, and I want to be able to come back up to Yorick there in case there's mm -hmm. any trouble. So he okay. just go there. So first it's Aerith and hope Aerith is faster. Like he's not holding any gold at all, but Aerith <laughs> has been very, very slow today. Close. Six. I'm <laughs> okay. gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm closer there. And I'm going to search for treasure and hopefully on my next go later I will use my spell and see what's in these oh, two nice. doors. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the pass through rock? Yes, the pass through rock. Okay, so how, I hope this is not a monster. <gasps> of course it is. A wandering, a wandering monster. monster. As you are searching, a monster stalks you and attacks. Zargon places the wandering monster on any square next to you. So, oh, and the monster's yeah. going to attack immediately, right? And he's going to attack and we're just like two here, so maybe... You... Where, where does he go? Mm -hmm. Beside me. So the monster is here. Wow, Ossid is in trouble. And he is going to attack me. Okay. So and don't don't get a hit. You know, oh, I'll myself. try not to. Okay, so... No skulls. One, one skull. skull. Okay, so you just need one white shield. Yeah, please give me one white shield. Oh, there is. So excellent, no excellent. Okay. So now the wandering monster is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah. So that is uh, Aerith's go, and now it's uh, Osid's go. Osid right. is going to attack the skeleton. Okay. And I hope I get a hit here. He has a defense of two. You do the defense, and I'll do the attack. <laughs> I will. Yeah. One. Okay. So we want no black shields. Oh, yeah. No black shield. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So the skeleton has just one body point, so that's him gone. And I think that Osid will will move in inside so he can search for treasure here later. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, 11. Yeah. 11. So I'm just going to move here for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and it's Yorick's turn. All right, and <laughs> after all that rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so York is going to have a peep inside this door here. So it's not an action to open the door. So let me open this. Oh, oh. my God, Varag's in here. 
Homo. Vereg stands before you, a grotesque creature of dread design. Stony wings spread out from behind the creature as it snarls with menace. Oh, so Vereg is there. Okay. You don't have a line of sight with a gargoyle. Do I? I do, yes, I do. You do? From the middle of my square, I can see him there, right? Let me see. Mm. Yeah, that's that sees him. Oh, I'm going to cast a spell from there. So yeah, yeah, cast a spell on him. Okay, so for my action, God, I'm glad that I didn't open the door <laughs> that last time, right? So I'm going to cast my genie spell. So it's an air spell. This spell conjures up a genie who does one of the following: opens any door on the board, revealing what lies behind, or uses five combat okay. dice to attack any monster within your line of sight. So I think that I should open this door over here. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing that Baron is here. <laughs> oh my God! It's a gargoyle. I'm opening this door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to attack with five combat dice. Ah, hopefully you can fit him. Yeah. How how many is his defense? Okay, so we don't know how much movement he has. We don't know how many attack dice he has. We don't know how many body points or mind points he has. But he has five defense. Wow, five defense. Oh my god, okay. So we are going to roll five. Hopefully you get five hits. Three. Wow, four. Ah, oh, four. Was that four? There's a skull there. Oh yeah, yeah four. And I'm going to defend in five. Okay. And please, no oh, black shield. Just no black shield. No black shield. Wow. Okay. He's so dead. The Varag has been defeated. Remove Varag from the game. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I was expecting a big final well, battle. That was kind of an anticlimax, you know. Yes. Yeah, so like it's out of the game. Like, um, York just comes in, opens up, oh my, oh my god, god, there he is, fires a genie, <laughs> takes him out of it, now and is now going to there. run, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a treasure chest in there, I'd no, like to get back, that, yeah, get yeah. It. But I need to get out of there for now. Verag defeated, Verag shatters into a heap of stone. Wow. That's not, that's not hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that, was a good spe- yeah. that was a good spell. That's a really strong one. So to complete this quest, all heroes must return to the stairway. I still have to deal with this, guys. Wow, okay. Well, anyway, let me run. Mm -hmm. (laughs) There's still some treasure that we can pick up. You know, um, Yorick or somebody can get this one in here. And then we've also got some down there with a tool. You never know, there might be some in here or here either. So for movement, I hope I get a a big roll here. (laughs) Nine. Nine. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to run back down to my barbarian. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. You're going to tell him, I defeated <laughs> Dude, You are not going to believe <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, so it is Zargon's turn, right? Yeah, Zargon's. Okay. So the uh, the orc is not going to attack the elf, but he's going to come here and attack the dwarf. Oh, no. Okay. So the orc has three attacks, and I'll defend how, myself. How many health, how many hit points has he left? Uh, I'll see five. Okay, he can survive this anyway. So uh, do you want me to do right, the attack? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the orc attacks with three, right? Yes. No skulls, please. Two skulls. Two skulls. Oh, no. And I'm going to do... I thought... White shield, please. Oh, one. one. Okay, so he takes one hit. One hit. So he's now down to four. Okay, so this guy is coming down after Yorick now. So one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. He's going to attack again. Okay, so he's got two attack dice. Okay, so hopefully no skulls. No skull. One, one skull. skull. So okay. I'm going to defend for two. White shield, oh, oh, one none. skull. Okay, so one hit. So I'm down to three. So I think Aerith has to to um, cast the healing, uh, healing I think, spell. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he should. Yeah. Okay, so this orc is coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and the other orc is going to follow him. And the other orc, one, two, three. three. Okay. Okay. So now it's the hero's face. Uh, back to the heroes. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to search for treasure. treasure. Oh, and the treasure chest is empty. Really? Oh. Oh, that sucks after all that. <laughs> all that. <laughs> okay, and so then move. he's going to move. Now, uh, that just means he's probably going to have to move up here to try to defend against that guy. Or, or we make a run for it and try to get out. No, but I want to get this treasure yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we yeah. have to fight this, guys. Okay, so... Actually, I want to get in here so we can block them from coming out, right? Fight one at a time. Seven. So... One... Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five... Six, I suppose, yeah. right? Because they're going to come after mm. you anyway. Yeah, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah. okay, so that's his action and his movement. And it's Aerith. Okay, so for Aerith, I think I'm going to move here to have line of sight with Osset so I can heal him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to try to... I, I need to get one. You know how slow yeah. Aerith is. <laughs> Six. Okay. <laughs> so he's going to move here. and it's, for a, it's five, is it? Uh, sorry, five. Yeah. Yeah, it's five. So he's going to move there and his action is to cast a spell. All right. So heal body. This spell may be cast on any one hero, including yourself. Its magical power immediately restores up to four lost body points. Excellent. Yeah, so, but does not give a hero more than their starting number so Osid has seven so and he's down to three he's back to seven now excellent okay that should yeah. get him through this battle anyway okay and the next is Osid okay so and which why don't you attack the orc because he attacks with two dice and the orc attacks with three. Oh yeah I'm going to attack the orc I attack with two one, one skull okay I'll try to avoid the black yes one. Of course. Oh, he defends it. Okay. Defends it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, that's Osset. And uh, maybe... Yeah, I don't want to open this one because I'm going to use my pasture rock to see what's in here. Yeah. So Osset's not going to move. He stay there. Okay. And Yorick. Okay, so Yorick is going to do some movement. See if we can get up and help out up here in some way. What spells do I have left? I'm going to cast Courage. Oh, Courage to... Yeah, yeah. he can roll two extra combat dice. Because this is the, the tough guy. Yeah, that's the toughest guy left out. Well, yeah. we don't know what's in here, but... Uh, but let's, let's do it. Okay, so let's hope that he can at least get... Within line of sight, so he needs at least three. Three. What's three. So, okay, he's going to get it. <laughs> so. Plus three, six. Six. Okay, so. One, two, three. Should I move in right behind him? It doesn't make any difference, really, does it? Yeah. I will, just in case he wants to move back. So, four. Okay, and then I'm going to cast a spell. So I'm going to cast Courage, and it's a fire spell. This spell may be cast on any one hero, including yourself. The next time that hero attacks, they may roll two extra combat dice. The spell is broken the moment a monster is no longer in the, li in the hero's line of sight. And yeah. hopefully we should be able to stay within line yeah. of sight for the rest of this. So that's that's the end of the hero phase right yes now sargon's phase so the orc is going to attack osid again all right and he's going to attack with three dice yes no skulls please he hits one one and i'm going to defend white shield please oh no so he takes one hit so he's down to six all right 
And now, of course, the tough guy is going to attack you. Oh so no, okay, you. so he's going to attack with four, right? Yeah. No, he plays. Oh, three. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to stop you from rolling. <laughs> yeah, you have to defend you on my rolling skill. You defend um, one for defense, one, so, so two. Two hits, yeah. You have a healing uh, potion, potion yeah. right? But I can hold on to that till the next mission, so if mm -hmm. I don't use it, I'm down to four. Okay, so the skeleton is going to attack me, so I need to do the attack. Okay, so two mm -hmm. attack dice, is it? Yeah. Oh no, oh, two skulls. That was <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're getting two. a lot of skulls now. Yeah, so I'm down to four. I think I need to get out of there, no? Yeah, things are getting a bit dodgy now, right? Yeah, but I can't move anywhere. Wherever I go Oh, you there, have to yeah. take the, yeah, the orc out of it. Yes. Okay, and these two orcs just move down here. Okay, so back to the hero turn. Back to the hero. Mm -hmm. All right. So I get to roll two extra combat dice this time, right? Yes. So this is going to be five. And he has three hit points. So hopefully we can do some serious damage here. Just two, two. skulls. Okay, that wasn't the best. And he defend. He defends with four, right? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. okay, so he takes two hits. That's not bad. He needs one more. He needs one more, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to move then out of the way so that uh, we can cast a spell on the next turn, right? So, five. Okay, but I'm just going to move over here. One, two. Okay. So now it's Aerith. I'm gonna try to attack this guy because they've been hitting uh, Osid for the last round. So. <laughs> right. Oh, give me some skull. One. One skull. Okay, as long as they don't defend against it. So. Yeah. And of course they, they defended defend. it. Oh no. Wow. So you have one more attack on him, I think. Uh, are you going to the, get out of there or what? No, I'm going to attack the skeleton for Osid and okay. hopefully I take him out. I missed him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh. Okay, and are you moving anywhere? No, there's really nothing I can move. Yeah. I can't pass through him, so... Okay. And both of them are attacking me. Okay, so it's back it's to your right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm Can going to cast <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast a sleep spell. So the sleep puts a monster into a deep sleep so it cannot move, attack or defend itself. The spell can be broken at once or on a future turn by a monster rolling one red die for each of its mind points. Oh no. He has three mind points. And if a six is rolled, the spell is broken. Okay, so let's hope no. What does he need? He needs a six. He doesn't need a six. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so he's asleep. <laughs> I'll be able to attack next time. Excellent. Okay, so in that case then, Yorick is going to move. And he's just going to go <laughs> three. three. That's okay. He just wants to go in here. Yeah. So you can have line of sight to every if it's in here. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so now it is Sargon's turn. I think I think Osid's gonna say goodbye to the team. Oh, is he in serious trouble, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so so the orc is going to attack him. Alright, with three dice. Okay, so his attack with three, three. dice gets two, two skulls. Oh no, how much uh, health have you left? Only four left, and I'm going to defend for two. Okay, so I'll get two white shields. Nothing. Nothing, okay, so he loses two. So he's down to two, and he has the most gold. Right. Oh, maybe you should cast past uh, through rock on him the next time so he can run. Oh, 
Uh, yes, yes, I will do that. Okay, so, but if he survives the skeleton. So the skeleton's going to attack him for two. One hit. One hit, and he's going to defend for two. Okay, so he takes one, one. hit. So he's down to one. Oh my god, he's not going to... I have a heal buddy. Oh yeah, but did you not already use No, that? not heal buddy. Yeah, potion of healing. Can I give it to him? You instead can, of... You can give it to him, but you have to give it to him on your turn. On so the... actually, that's okay. That'll work. This is for from Aerith. Yeah, he can give it to him. As long as it's his own turn, he can give it to another player. Okay. And he gets his turn before us hit, so that's good. Mm. Okay. In fact, I have a healing potion as well, which uh, I can give him too. Mm -hmm. Because you don't actually have to be in the same room. Okay. It's a strange rule, but you don't. You can give it to any of the other heroes, yes. as long as you give it on your turn. No, but what I'll do is I'll cast a spell on him to get out, to pass through. But before that, give him the healing potion anyway, because he's going to need it. Okay. He's only got one, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this orc moves in here. Okay, and he is going to attack, oh my goodness, three dice, right? Yeah. How many more life do you have? I think we need to start running, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know why we keep fighting these guys, but they'll follow us, right? Yeah, they will. So, he has four body points left. Two hits, mm -hmm. and he gets to defend with two. It takes Let's two hits. Hit. Let's start running. Let's just start yeah. running. The barbarian. Well, the barbarian can take his potion at the last second, so he's just down to two. Let's just start running because uh, this is getting, you know. Yeah. At least they can kind of block him here instead of this position. Okay. So first of all, we're going to attack this orc and see if we can take him out of it. Two, two hits, right? And he can defend with two. So as long yeah. as you don't get two black shields. Not two black shield. Excellent. None. Okay, so the orc has been defeated. That's good. Okay. And then you have to walk. Yeah. Now he's asleep and he only needs one more hit, doesn't he? Yeah. But you can attack him on his sleep, right? Later I can on attack him round. on his... Uh, yeah, if he's asleep, like... York can actually go in, so I I think that just stay. I start. can just stay there, yeah. So I'm not okay. going to move. So so after the barbar barbarian is Aerith, Aerith is going to give the potion of healing to Osset. And this you, I have to roll a red die. Can you roll a good red die? That is the number <laughs> okay. of. That is the number I of. I need a six. Yeah. Five. Five. Not bad. So Osset is back to five oh, and good. I'm going to give my my action so that is not an the potion of healing is not an action and my action is to cast a spell on Osid pass through rock okay so this spell may be cast on any one hero including yourself that hero may then move through walls on their next move they may move through as many walls as their dice roll allows Okay, so... Oh, and don't get caught in the shaded areas, right? Yes. So then I'm going to get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Six. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Stay there and also get a lot of... Get a lot of... Uh, He's, movement. Yeah, he needs a, a like a 12 here, right? 12. Wow, of course. Six. Six again, okay. Yeah. So if it's six, it's going to be one, two. We don't know what's in here. Yeah, you but might it go will one, be two, revealed. Three. It well, will be revealed, yeah, if, if you go in there. So if you go six is... But he can't pass through. Oh, can when, he pass through monster? No, One, he can't. Just walls. Three, so, so the orc will be able to catch up with him anyway. But if there's nothing in here, or in here, he can kind of hide in there. Yeah. So maybe he do one, two. Okay. And then let's see where and he let's goes. Let's see what in. he sees. Yeah. 
Okay, so all seed is going to pass through rock, so that's two. Okay, so that mummy is the guardian of Valmark's tomb. Okay, so one, two, three. So I still have, I still have, so one, two, three, I still have three. Maybe I should go one, two, three. Well, you shouldn't move somewhere that they can both attack you, so I wouldn't move further than here. Because otherwise they'll both get in to attack you. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. One, two. Yeah, so I think so. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have to fight your way through those and hopefully we'll be able to come and do something by then as well. Yeah, I just have to open that door next time. Okay? <laughs> right. He's really in serious trouble. Okay, so it's back to Yorick? Yeah, Yorick. I think we should start moving. Yeah, I, I think all that we're going to end up getting in here it's is... Maybe like an gold, empty but, or an but, or, empty. Or death, you know? Yeah. So Yorick is going to move. Maybe, what's his spells left? A Veil of Mist. They can move through monsters. Oh, I've got one Swift Wind that can give double movement. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to cast that on the Barbarian. Okay. So that's Swift Wind. This spell may be cast on any one hero, including yourself. Its powerful burst of energy enables that hero to roll twice as many red dice as normal the next time they move. Okay, so the barbarian is going to be able to move twice as many spaces. And now Yorick is thinking, okay, I am going to hightail it out yeah. of here. <laughs> Probably should have given it to, to himself so he can run. But... <laughs> Six. Six. Okay, so... He is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now is Zargon's turn. Okay, yeah, so we're really in a bad position. So first, the orc is gonna come down here and attack the elf. Oh dear! I don't get a hit, please. Oh, one. Two, one, two, three, one hit, okay. One hit. I should let you do the rolling. <laughs> and I'm going to descend. One shield. One shield. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, excellent. Okay, so next, this guy is going to try to break his spell. Spell, yeah. So let's hope for no sixes. Oh, six. he broke his spell. Okay. So he's going to go close now to... I think so, yeah. To a tool. Okay, so he's going to move up here, and guess what's going to happen? <laughs> he's not happy at all. He's going to attack with four. Wow. My goodness, so he could actually kill a tool here. Can you take but your I can, potion? I can take yeah. it after I'm hit, yeah. I hope you don't get hit. One. One, okay, and he can defend with two, yeah. so I just need a white a white shield, come on. Oh. No, okay, so he's down he's a survivor, he's down to one. Okay, so the skeleton is gonna go down here. Okay. Of course. This goblin is going to attack. Okay. Please don't get an attack <laughs> one. I'll try to avoid yeah. the skulls, right? Get a shield. Two skulls, oh really? no. Okay, so you're going to have to you're going to have to get some kind of defense here. And oh, one white. Okay, so you take one hit. Right, one hit, down to four. Okay. Okay, right. so the orc, orc then moves down here. Hero's face. Okay, so you have the spell, remember? For um, yeah, so I can move twice the number of spaces. But I think My, you should attack him first, and then. So his here. movement is six, right? Seven. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so he's going to catch us if we try to run away, right? Yeah. Also, it is definitely not going to survive this round. Aerith is going to attack this and probably help out here. Yeah, my other option is to come in here to try to help Osid, right? 
Yeah, but he's still gonna, you know, follow us. So right, give so him seven. a hit first. He okay. only have one life. So. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. <laughs> skulls. Three skulls. Good. Excellent. Okay, so he defends with four. And let's hope that he doesn't get you, any black. I'll let you do the defense. <laughs> <laughs> one defense? Yes, okay. one defense. Okay, so that's him gone. Okay, that's that's good news. Anyway, so now I have twice the amount of dice to move with. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, twelve and six is eighteen. Eighteen. So I can run around here and take him from behind. I come in here and get the treasure. Uh, I think that I need to come up to your room, right? If you how many how many, one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen <laughs> <laughs> that orc that's in front of me has how much movement eight yeah two three four five six seven okay so he'd be able to catch Yorick. But Yorick is going to, to run. run. Yeah. yeah, he's there's nothing Yorick can do at the moment. He's just yeah. got a veil of mist, one spell left, and that just allows a hero to walk through other heroes. Actually, it would be really helpful for you, but yeah. he can't reach you to cast it on you. So, where should I go? I think the only thing that makes sense is to it's come to up there to help yeah. you. Yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and okay. then I'll. Open this door. Okay, so that's open now. Okay, so I have another nine movement. So for how many? How much health have you left? Your uh, Osid has four health. Uh, he's pretty healthy. Six. Okay, so I think I'll just come inside the door here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're going to call it from behind. Yeah. Okay, so now it's Aerith's turn. Aerith is going to try to attack this uh, um, orc. Okay, good luck, Aerith. Yeah, Aerith, please. You've been having Get a, a roll. One, One skull. skull. Okay, so the orc can defend with two. No, give us no black results <laughs> this time. Okay. Of course. Oh, no. One black. Oh dear. Okay. Mm hmm So Aerith is just gonna run away. Well, if you run away that means that orc is coming over here to attack us and we're trying to take mm. to get him out, so I think you should stay there. I should stay there. Okay, then I'll stay there. Yeah. Okay, so now it's Osid. Okay, and Osid, Osid is now gonna... you should just yeah if you can kill this guy it'll be awesome. Two. Okay, two. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and he only has one defense. So, so he'll be dead either way. Yeah, and there's yeah. nothing he can do about it. He got he one got defense, one. but it's good to get that roll out of the way anyway. Okay, so he is dead. And Yorick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Yorick is just going to head back to the stairwell. I don't think there's something he can yeah. do here, right? So... And don't start getting treasure or else all the <laughs> another monster. wandering monster. This yeah. is a wandering monster. Yeah, that is he hard caused to... serious problems to us, didn't he? Okay, so a nine. All right, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So York is looking as if he's going to be safe. Yorick just went and killed Verag. And <laughs> that's literally like, what he did. He's that's like, the, guys, we came here to kill Verag. Verag, get yeah. out of here. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's it. He can't take any actions. Yeah, and now it's Zargon's turn. So the orc is going to attack um, Aerith. Aerith has not been He's been very unlucky yeah. today, yeah. Okay, so three dice. Aerith is not very unlucky. One. One hit. Okay, yeah, well, we can defend. take that. Uh, give me white shield. None. So one hit. They just keep wearing us down, don't they? Yeah. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We might we might get out of here yet. Yeah. 
Okay, and then the skeleton can't do anything. Glad we didn't come in this way. So this guy's guarding oh. the tomb. So this must be the tomb in here. The goblin's gonna attack. Uh, the goblin's gonna attack the barbarian. Should you take your potion? It doesn't matter because even if I if I get hit, I can take the potion. Oh. Yeah. So otherwise, I can keep it till the next round. So there's no point in me doing it. So I'll make the so attack. Okay. So. Uh, he's attack. Oh, he's attacking me, right? Yeah, his attack is two. Two. Two skulls. Really. Getting... I defend with two. One. one. So I take one hit. So, okay. So that's my last hit. Mm -hmm. So that would put me down to zero. But I am going to take my potion of healing. So I have to roll one red die. Hopefully you get six. I hope so. I got yeah. to get a one. That's not much use, is it? Five. Excellent. Five. Okay, Good. I'll take that. Okay, so we're still going. We're still kicking. Okay, so this guy is coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. But I don't know what he's up to because there's no way he's going to catch Yorick. <laughs> yeah, but we have to fight him later there. Oh, Remember. that's right. Yeah, he's so going to cut us off. So, if I am Yorick, cast a spell since he's in line of sight. But he has no spells left. He just has one veil of mist that allows you to walk through a monster. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe he can hang around somewhere. We'll see. He has four health left anyway. So, okay. Okay, so now it's the hero's turn. So, the barbarian. Okay, so... We're not happy with this goblin at yeah. all. So one skull. One. So can the just don't roll a black shield? That's all I ask. Uh, no. <laughs> no black. Sh yes. Okay. So yeah. the goblin has been defeated. Good. And now I'm going to move. Yeah. So. Can you go closer to Aerith? So I'll move on my, I'll attack him and move a little bit further. So you have. I don't, don't move. Don't let him out. No, if he's out here, you're here and I'm here. We can both attack him. Oh, Same I as the see. strategy in the okay, beginning. Okay, yeah, yeah. pincer attack. And then maybe yeah. we can come back and get this treasure if we defeat if them. If we defeat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. No, but this, this guy also needs to be taken care of. Yeah, well, he's going to be hanging around down there for a while, right? So there's only three guys that will chase us. So I got seven. seven. So I go one, two, three, four. four. Yeah. Uh, five. Si no, oh no, okay. just stay here. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm just gonna come here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Aerith, please, please at least give a hit to this orc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to have two instead of three dice coming at you next time, right? Okay, so two dice to attack the arc. Two. Excellent. Okay. Don't and he defend, can defend him. with two. Don't defend so... him. Oh, okay, we're done. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. It's out. Oh, the uh, orc caused that, a lot of problems, yeah. didn't he? Okay, so the orc is now out of the board. And I am going to move. I just need one to move out of there oh seven so i'll move okay. here Excellent. and now is um i'll just let him try to move and get it no because we'll be fighting him so let's just yeah yeah so? you okay. might have this other guy coming up after you but yeah we sh you, sh you should we, we should take that if we are greedy then no let's get it because i think that there might be a lot in it mm -hmm. i think this is uh, the other guy's tomb, and I think there might be a lot of treasure in here, but I don't think it's worth going for, for it, because I'm not okay. going to face these three guys, you know? Let's see what you get. Six plus five. Okay, 11. 11. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Okay. So next is uh, mm, your Yorick, right? Yeah, I didn't want to get treasure there because a mo wandering monster might. Yeah, um, well, when there's treasure in the room, you you won't get the wandering monster, right? Mm-hmm. 
so no here there's no treasure here oh treasure right bags. yeah 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 no you don't want to search yeah. we don't want any more wandering monsters yeah. so let's see what we get here nine. nine i think he'll be safe yes but i'm not going to take him out just yet i'm yeah, going I... to go one two three just in case i do need to go and do anything and fight. You know? yeah mm -hmm. i think it's unlikely he'll have to fight but he can take four hits so well he can take three <laughs> he's dead on four but Oh, and the dwarf reveals one. Yeah, so there's a block there. So there's a blockage there, yeah. Okay, so now it's Zargon's turn. First is this one. So one, two. Okay, so the skeleton is going to attack Aerith. Oh, right, so okay. So how, how many is... So he is going to attack with two dice. Oh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> and one, one. hit. One hit and I will defend. Yes. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then now the orc is so going the to move. Orc is moving here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's still keeping hope of catching, <laughs> <laughs> catching up with us. Okay. So that's all of Zargon's turn. Okay. So hero's turn. Let's take this. Let's take the skeleton out. Yeah, okay. And so then we start moving to take him out. So the skeleton has one body point. So let's see what we can do about him. Two. So the skeletons defend uh, dice. That's two. Two. Oh, none. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Dead. He is gone. And I think we should start dealing with that big orc there so we can safely wait for. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, so let me do a movement then. Okay. Eight. Okay, so. So, shall I come up here? No, 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 there's no more monsters. <laughs> So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Next is Aerith, and Aerith is gonna start walking as well. Oh, it's also so uh, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And they can't share a space, so, so you I have just to go stay here. behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Osid is gonna start moving too. Get me good one, two. Are you really? serious? Are you wow. serious? One, he really doesn't want that two. treasure, does he? Yeah. <laughs> he said, why did you left me here alone getting <laughs> all this gold? Okay. Okay. So now is the uh, Yorick. You should. Yorick is just going to. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get out of there. So he's going to roll eight and he comes up and Yorick is safe. out of the dungeon and safe with whatever treasure he has yeah okay sargon's turn, yeah, it's sargon's turn. Uh, so i think this i think this orc is just gonna move eight spaces so one two three four five six seven eight and oh, eight. Oh, oh, oh. it would be nice to have zargon's yeah. spell here where we can walk through him and attack him from both sides all right, so it's, it's hero's face. Yes, nobody else is doing that thing. Okay, so I guess I just have to go up and attack him, right? Yeah, move first. Six. Six and that'll get me up beside him, all right. <laughs> and now let's see what we can hit him with here so yeah, hit you. come on we need just one actually just three, three would be great two. two okay so he has two defense okay no black shield sorry no black that. shield oh okay, yes okay nice nice now he's dead we're actually safe now yeah that's right i thought we were dead there for a while but ah, he's the last monster gone <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so now it's airy Aerith is just gonna start walking and maybe we should just leave our dice here because we're just gonna be walking. It's gonna be 
Aries. Eight. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then Osid, Osid, please swap fast. <laughs> yeah. Really? Four. <laughs> Okay, and back to Zagon's turn and nothing no. is moving and back to our turn. So this is just going to be a long stroll, right? Yeah. So seven. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. All right. right. So Aerith is now out of the board and safe. And wow, Osid. Osid, please get a good. Uh, yeah, in. we just need him to Hurry. rush out. Really? Five. five. Well, that'll get him inside the door anyway. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's and good. And for my action, I am going to search this one. Search for treasure? Okay. Okay, treasure chest. You find 120 gold coins in this treasure chest. Oh, wow. Plus 100. He's even going to go slower now with all these gold yeah. coins. So he, he should share some of that with the uh, Barbarian <laughs> or with Yorick who did some, uh, definitely. did a lot of that can work. Can we share gold? We can share gold, yes. yes, mm -hmm. yes. But you know he's a dwarf. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Osid is on 180. <laughs> wow, okay. And Yorick has 85. Maybe Ooh. we can share along and get you know, a What we'll do is, yeah, we'll look, we'll look through the equipment and we'll see what is most yeah. useful to us because I think that if we have a diagonal, a longsword, yeah. that would be really good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So there's no Zargon's turn. There's no monsters. These are stuck in here. Okay. Back to Atul. Okay, and Atul I think this is, is Atul's farewell. Should you say farewell before you get to the trail? <laughs> farewell, Atul. We'll see. He'll see if he makes it. Now he might get a two. Two. <laughs> he did get a two. <laughs> he's a, he's, he's leaving slowly. He wants to go around and wave to everyone. <laughs> okay, stop showing off, Atul. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, also start. Ah, oh, that's good. Six plus five, eleven. Nice. Okay, so it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Yeah, because it will be the same if it comes there. And then we are back to. If I, I if I let him go into the room, he might be tempted <laughs> to search. <laughs> and then a wandering a wandering monster will appear on his own. No. <laughs> Seven. Okay. And Atul is in. Bye bye Atul. Okay. And he is out of there. So here you go, Osid. Get a lot. Seven. seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Sargon okay. doesn't go for a turn. So back to Osid again. Oh, eleven. eleven. That'll do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, wow, eleven. That's eight. And with so much gold. Yes. Wow. And now he's out of the board. Oh, and that's All the it. Heroes are safe. <laughs> we did it. I hope we had enough gold to get at least one weapon. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a look and see what equipment uh, we can between quests, and then the next one we'll see, you yes. know, what we can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well done. Good job. <laughs> yeah. It's important to work together in Hero Quest because each of the characters has their own strengths and weaknesses. Atul the Barbarian is our main fighter. He took care of lots of enemies today, but he does get worn down and needs to be healed. Yorick the wizard was awesome. He gave some great support to the other characters, especially Atul. And then, when he opened the door and saw Varag there, he pulled out his genie spell and annihilated him in just one go. In the beginning, we decided to split into two teams to explore the opposite sides of the catacombs. Aerith and Osid on one side, and Atul and Yorick on the other side. 
It worked well for us because we were able to explore faster and we were not stuck together leaving some characters unable to perform actions. Searching for treasure is a good way to find gold to buy equipment, but you can just as easily find a hazard or a wandering monster in there. It can be very dangerous if you are on your own and your health is low, so you need to be careful about that. I was very disappointed when Atul beat those two dread monsters and then found the treasure chest was empty. I really thought there was going to be some gold or at least some kind of weapon or potion in there. We had a strategy today. Let's call it sandwich combat. Two heroes stand in a door in a narrow corridor and wait for the monsters to come one by one. In this way, if one hero misses, we still have another shot. This is particularly helpful as Aerith's unfortunate roles got him stuck with an orc. We did defeat him eventually with this strategy. Today's quest was a trial, but it still wasn't easy. We're going to have to be very careful in future when we have to deal with hidden traps. Still, I'm very proud of our heroes. They did a great job and they also came out with some gold, so hopefully we can buy some more equipment before long. Ozid was given an errand to pick up the treasure bags where we found Varag. He's a dwarf, so of course he would go. We hope to use the golds that we collected in this quest to buy some weapons for our future quests. So that was the first episode of our Hero Quest campaign. We'll have to complete 13 more quests if we are to rid the world of the evil sorcerer Zargon and restore honor to the realm. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye!